everyone, I am Rabab from TechX Media. We are at Jitex Global 2023. And as a guest right now, I have with me Sasha Gies. He is Global Technical Evangelist at Solo Wins. We will uh, get, into, get into a conversation with Sasha and get to know more about their Jitex participation and some recent technologies they are displaying. So let's welcome Sasha on TechX Media. Hi, Sasha. How are you? Very good. Thanks for having me here. It's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, so, Sasha. AI has been the industry buzzword this year, undoubtedly. And Jitex is also about imagine AI in everything, chat GPT and a lot of things that have happened this year. In your opinion, is generative AI really the flavor of AI that will drive most value for businesses or there are, what are the greater benefits of it? Um, my opinion would be yes and no. It, it, there has some be interesting use cases on generative AI in a couple of years. And this is kind of what um, was a bit of a roadblock for AI adoption on a global level. So AI is nothing super new and most of us use it in our private life and our business life, probably without knowing, but what was missing was like really great use cases. And now with the latest edition of ChatGPT, which is just one year old, would you believe, um, suddenly we have great use cases and it's kind of like um, an insane victory that's going on, going on, going on. And we find more places for more businesses to actually use so I would say um, it was a milestone and one that was needed so the technology will keep current as opposed to um, some other which had just a hype and then disappeared. You know? That's, that's uh, correct. Uh, so uh, the big announcement from SolarWinds on the topic of AI was uh, addition of transformative AI and ML capabilities uh, to its ITSM solutions. Can, can you tell us why ITSM is a, a domain that is uh, ripe for transformation by AI? It's actually quite simple. When, um, when you look at the use of an ITSM tool, there's a group of uh, IT experts and one back, but the users are normal users like you and me. And what are the typical cases we report to IT? Maybe we forgot our password, maybe we need a new software. And that is relative easy tasks. And why not outsource those tasks to a machine, in this case to an AI, okay? Which makes it um, a little bit easier for the humans sitting behind it. So they don't have to waste time with those repetitive tasks and they can use their their imagination and brain power far more better to bring innovation to the business. So ITSM is a very great um, sandbox to play with AI and machine learning and that's what we started almost a year ago, so a little bit later. That's, that's great. Uh, moving forward, what are the typical use cases in which AI can be used to enhance ITSM as it is currently carried out? So besides the standard like a password reset, which I just mentioned, um, any, any tasks that have multiple steps. So one of our examples is take recruitment, onboarding of new employees. When a new employee signs a contract, there's loads of individual steps, like they have to get a desk, they have to get the workstation, accounts have to be created, etc., etc., etc. None of this is rocket science, but it takes time. Okay, And with the use of a bit of machine learning, who understands a new person starts in accounting or in, in support or whatever, the software knows automatically what kind of permissions are required, um, where will the person sit, in what department. So it can, it can do a lot of the stuff in the background automatically. This goes beyond standard IT. This is more like business process automation with the help of AI. And that is another very, very interesting use case which we want to provide with our ITSM solution. Great. Uh, okay, uh, so another question. Uh, in a region characterized um, by overworked and understocked IT teams, what potential benefits and efficiency gains can organizations expect by embracing AI-powered approach uh, to ITSM? I don't really have a number for you, but mm -hmm. it's a significant ease of distress on the humans because they um, if you look at a typical IT team there might be 10 people there might be 100 people whatever and out of these people 90% are dealing with what we call firefighting so they have to solve 
problems, okay? And only a small fraction is available to um, to use their time for something more useful for, for, for the business. And what we want to do is remove the repetitive tasks, remove the simple tasks. The machine can do this. And, and particularly if you look, it's getting more and more difficult to find skilled employees um, all over the place, okay? And sometimes you're not able to, to fill all the roles which you need to fill to run your organization. In that case, a solution that brings some smart automation, some intelligence, is super useful because it might be able to help you to fill those gaps which you can't fill with people because you just can't find them right now. That's that's interesting. Uh, last question from my side. Once AI has been successfully proven uh, for the IT service desk, how can the concept of AI automation uh, be extended into other areas of the business? What are the most logical next steps? We're already using it in other places. So, for example, we have machine learning when we um, check for the performance of databases. What we do is we detect anomalies and use machine learning to provide a little bit more insight for the humans behind that. Also, in our IT operations management system, we use AI for anomaly um, identification for alarms. I give you a super easy example. Let's assume we monitor a server and the server has a CPU utilization of 80% during the day that is fine, you work during the day, I work during the day, so there's more stress on the server. During the night, we don't work, or we shouldn't work at least, right? So the CPU utilization would be much lower, and our system would spot what is normal and set thresholds for alerts according to the actual use time. So this is also AI, and we would not warn for CPU utilization of, I don't know, 40% during the night, when the average utilization is 20% anyway. So there are so many use cases and even we just started. So we have loads of stuff that we're currently working on. Um, but I can't talk about this now, we do this next year. So there's definitely more stuff coming. Mm -hmm. That's that's very, very interesting. And thank you so much for sharing all the valuable information with us. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Technics to know more about what is happening at Jitex Global 2023. Goodbye.